just going to give you a quick overview of a rain barrel kit uh, and what I did and some tips of uh, what you can do if you want to link multiple barrels together. Uh, this kit is great, comes with the hole saw uh, for each different size hole that you need to run, like for the gutter and into the barrel itself. All right, so first we'll go over here and this, my gutter comes right down the house here on the other side of the fence. It has a, like a rubber catcher inside there and it comes with the uh, sheet metal screws that zip it right into uh, the gutter after you draw, drill the hole. Um, I ran the hose right down here. I had to extend it. Uh, I believe this is an inch and a quarter hose and this is slightly bigger so it slipped right in perfect and I clamped it and it's holding great. Uh, if the, the provided hose that comes with the kit isn't long enough, you can extend it, no problem. Um, so I ran it over into the middle barrel here. Um, if you're lucky enough to find barrels with the caps, that's great because you want to leave them in so that way you can keep debris out. But what I did was in each of the barrels, I drilled uh, a couple small holes in the caps so that way they, it could be vented. Because when you have the water coming into the center barrel, you don't want it to get air locked in the outer barrels and not vent the air out so you can't fill them up. Um, down here, I got some brass fittings, which doesn't come with the kit. All this stuff I added um, to link them together. Now, there's a couple ways you can run it into the barrel. Uh, what, what you could do is drill the hole and run a tap in there and thread the, the brass fitting into it or find more plugs that the kit comes with and put the plugs in and run them into the plugs. They work really well. That comes with the kit. Here is the, uh, the rubber plug. So the kit comes with a hole saw. You just drill the hole, put your rubber plug in and thread your spigot right into there and it locks it in there really good. Um, but what I did with these barbs, <clears throat> instead of drilling the hole and running a tap in there and picking up a tap that fits the threads, a uh, pipe tap, um, I took a pair of vice grips and took the brass fitting, like this plastic one is locked into the vice grips, so you got a good grip on it, took a map, bat, map gas torch, heated the brass fitting nice and hot, and then took it to the barrel where I wanted the hole and pushed it into it and wiggled it, which would melt a hole right through where you want to go. And took it out real quick, grabbed a brass fitting and turned it into the melted plastic. It gives you a little more of a uh, surface area to lock the brass fitting into the barrel because when you have the melted plastic around it, you're not just going through a thin wall you have a little extra uh, meat in that plastic to uh, lock that barb into. Now I took that out, let that cool until it was ready and uh, I loaded up the threads of the brass fitting with uh, JB Weld and that's uh, a good uh, strong uh, epoxy that will lock the new barb into the plastic and seal the threads at the same time. So I kind of use it as a thread lock and a uh, permanent uh, mount for these barbs. The type of hose I used, I um, wouldn't recommend this for long term, but I got this on here for right now. So that way I can see how the barrels are fitting, uh, see if there's any debris. Right now I got rainwater in there. Everything looks clean. At some point, I might switch this out. You can do, um, you can take this off and put garden hose in there, which will give you a, a longer lifespan because over time, this clear hose will turn yellow. It'll stiffen up and it'll get brittle, especially in the sun. So, also, uh, when you put your rain barrels in, uh, I recommend giving a good, strong base to mount your barrels. Uh, you can do them right on the ground and move your spigot to midway of the barrel, but you'll never be able to get 
the rainwater on the low end. So I wanted to have the spigot at the bottom so we can get as much rainwater out of these as possible. But if you, you can't do that only unless you get them off the ground. And what I did was cinder blocks are cheap. So make a good base with cinder blocks because you don't want to make it out of um, like treated lumber or anything because when these things get full, they're going to get really heavy. So uh, this is the cheap and best thing to do to get them off the ground. <clears throat> and I hope some of these tips uh, help you out and good luck with your project. Thank you for watching. Hi guys, just a few more notes on the previous video that I posted. Um, I used the map gas torch, a little torch kit that uh, you can get at Home Depot. Heated up the fitting and held it in vice grips like this. I was really hot, melted my hole so that way, and then I pulled this out. And when I had this out, and cut, the hole was there, but the plastic was still uh, hot and pliable. I had another fitting and threaded that into it let it cool unthreaded it so that way when I was done it left me with some threads in the tank uh, this is the JB weld that I used to uh, epoxy the fittings into the side of the tank now <clears throat> when you I recommend getting the, the fast setting ones you know they have other ones that are like six hour or whatever you don't want to wait all day to find out if it leaks or not so um, if you get the fast setting JV well, uh, when it's really hot out, you have like less than five minutes of working time with it. So plan everything ahead. Have have your, your piece there in the other tank. Have them sitting right next to each other. So that way you can mix up one batch, thread it on the, put it on the threads, run that in there, and then you can push the excess into it to uh, make sure it has a good bond. Now. There's another way that you could do this with the kit that I bought. This. It comes with an extra drain plug and another uh, rubber grommet to put that plug into the tank. Now, this is possibly a, the same size thread as the spigot that comes with the kit. Now you can put, use the hole saw kit that's provided, drill a second hole into your other tank. If you're only joining two tanks together, you can use this extra stuff. Now, drill the hole, put your grommet in there, and instead of putting the drain plug in the second tank, um, you can pick up another spigot and run that into the next tank. And I drew a small picture here. That I'll show you guys. Now, you can put the second spigot in. Uh, so you have two spigots in each barrel, and you can get a Y connector for hoses, garden hose connectors, and you can Y them into the things and join the two barrels that way. That's another way you could do it. Or you can split the downspout hose and have that just run into both tanks, but then you have to figure out some kind of way that it puts water in both tanks evenly. Because if it flows better into one tank, that tank's gonna overfill and you're not gonna get much on the other tank if they're not joined together at the bottom. Or so that was just a couple of quick extra notes that I wanted to throw in there about if you're thinking about doing a rain barrel project. Uh, one other thing, uh, I was told that if you don't get the kit uh, and you buy all your pieces individually, you're gonna spend about the same amount of money. So I recommend getting a ring barrel kit. Well, once again, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.